Hello, welcome back to Farm Improvement. Sorry I hadn't put any videos up in a while. I've just uh, been really busy the last several months. Uh, today I'm going to go over uh, uh, building a uh, heavy duty uh, engine stand. Um, a lot of the uh, engine stands that you buy, they're, uh, they might be rated to like 2,000 pounds, but they're generally for V8 engines. Uh, and most of what I've got here are heavy uh, six-cylinder engines, so uh, need to make a heavier one. I've got a bigger engine that's going to be up around 2,000 pounds complete. And uh, the ones that you buy, uh, if you go above just your regular V8 engine stand, they go to like six, eight thousand dollars for a heavy-duty one. So I decided to just build my own. I was going to go over it here uh, real quick. I've got a lot of the major pieces here cut out. Uh, not, nothing is welded yet. Uh, but i uh, got three by three legs, a uh, quarter inch thick, uh, with the casters bolted on the end. Each caster is rated to, I think, 700 pounds. Uh, the back... The back beam and the stand are three by eight by a quarter inch thick. And uh, I think this is uh, four inch OD, three and a half ID, uh, schedule 80 pipe. Already got the holes drilled for the pins to lock it straight and at 90 degrees. These holes will be for uh, bolts you tighten into it and hold it in position so uh pretty basic uh machine uh or stand but uh, it's just gonna be uh, a little bit heavier duty than uh what you buy in the store for three four hundred bucks so that's what i needed so i decided just to build me one uh, i'll bring you back uh once i get things welded up and bring it further along Okay, uh, got it uh, mostly done now. Um, all welded up, we got an engine mounted on it. Uh, hadn't had a chance to make a lot of videos from in between, but uh, things obviously now have a engine on it. Uh, this particular engine's a 8.4 liter Sisu diesel. Uh, it's gonna be uh, built for a pulling tractor engine. And uh, I was able to source the worm drive gearbox I was looking for. Uh, I think this one's a 50 to 1 ratio, which is what you need. Uh, but it's important uh, to find a worm drive gearbox because once all this engine is together and if you don't have the engine kind of centered, uh, uh, it would try to break over on you that when the weight transfers, but with a worm drive, you know, it's with a slow enough ratio, you won't really have that problem and slow ratio. So easy to turn. That's what I wanted. Uh, so I've been looking around for worm drive gearboxes, finally come up the one I did have to the uh, reason the back is off of it here is uh, this gearbox actually didn't have a bearing to hold the shaft on this end. So I've got this plate off. I got a bearing ordered and I actually machined out this keyway so I could extend, bring this shaft on out. And then I'll have a flange bearing bolted to this plate to support this end of the shaft. Uh, but even now with it setting the way it is, it doesn't seem to be binding up any, but uh, I've got the bearing ordered, so I'm going to put it on. Uh, this uh, this part here, I did have these holes drilled for like lock, and I may go ahead and weld a nut on there and put a lock bolt in it just to lock it in place if I need to. But uh, I drilled these in case I didn't find a gearbox. That way I could just use it manually. Uh, but this part here, is 
all stays with the stand. This plate and this here and this plate are specific to this engine. So when I change engines on it, these are half inch holes. So I've got four up here, four down here. So I can make different plates for different engines and just make it where it'll line up with these holes and it'll, uh, that way I can put different engines on it. Uh, usually what will mostly be on it is Perkins diesels, but uh, it was kind of built for this one because this is a bit bigger engine. This is three quarter plate, uh, all heavy stuff. Uh, I haven't cleaned welds up yet. I'm actually going to get around and paint it uh, when I get this engine uh, kind of put together. Uh, when I take this engine off, I will paint this thing, but... Uh, Gearbox mount, it's kind of crude. But just bolted to it. Shaft runs through, bolted in it. No biggie, so yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm confident that this engine stand could probably hold two of those uh, engines if need be. Uh, doesn't seem to affect it at all, so I'm uh, I'm real happy with it, so I'm, uh, that's where we're going to end this project at. Uh, I'm sure in the future you'll see it around the shop, hopefully after it's already painted and looks nice. Until right, next time.